How do you feel when you say clarinet? Well, I, I feel like uh, the word itself suggests music, right, and it clarity. My first language is Russian, second is Ukrainian, and third is Hebrew. Fourth is uh, English. A clarinet, a clarinet, a clarinet. Music was a huge part uh, of my upbringing. We, we had music all the time at home. I didn't choose clarinet, it sort of like chose me. And when I was about nine, my parents suggested that I study something, some instrument. My mom said, well, you know, I have this good friend of ours. I think he teaches clarinet. Do you want to go and try this instrument? I said, sure. And he took out clarinet, and I was immediately um, so uh, impressed. What was incredibly fascinating for me is that you could take it apart and put it together. I was, as a boy, it was like uh, playing with a Lego or something like that. When I turned 16, I entered this competitive uh, high school musical program. Uh, we had to work really, really hard. So in the beginning, I actually thought, oh no, this. This is not for me. Forget about it. And I came home and I told my mom, you know, I, I'm not sure. It's, it's really it's too much work. And she said to me, well, you know, just kind of stick around with it like for another week or two. So I went back and I kept practicing for two more weeks and then another two weeks. And all of a sudden I realized, oh my God, that actually sounds that sounds pretty good. And all of a sudden you realize that you can actually improve really fast when you have a really great teacher, when you have good instruction. And you realize that you have a very powerful tool in your hands to communicate with people, to actually make a difference. And at that point when you realize that it's really too late to quit. I have to admit this is probably the hardest journey that one can choose to become an artist because it requires commitment, it requires hard work, discipline, patience. Passion is only one part of the process. It's not only enough to be passionate about music, it's very important to realize that it's a way of life. Sometimes you play in concerts and, and you don't even realize what's going on. It's only when you are left uh, alone with yourself on the day after, a week after, and you feel, oh, wow, what happened? Then you feel, wow, what a privilege that is. When you are able to uh, be on stage or play for someone, like I, I did for you today, that would be one of my most memorable experiences. Um, seriously, it's just the same as playing uh, with Sting uh, or Lady Gaga or, or with Paul McCartney. It's the same thing, it's the same feeling. It's the way that you communicate on a very high level that both you and, you and I were, uh, in, in that moment, were in a different place. So when we ask a question, um, how can one make it as an artist and musician. If you are able to create something that will change another person's life, you've made it. The paycheck, the uh, title, the status comes along the way. You can also play around with phrases, so... Um, it's okay. 
create a space. Also, f uh, especially when you play by yourself, uh, alone, mm -hmm. it's good to have that silence to make it a little more suspenseful. Can you try? point uh, where you um, are immersed in so much playing, so much performing, you gain uh, so many beautiful experiences and so much knowledge, you feel one of your biggest responsibilities is to share this. This is one of the top programs in the country and in the world. Um, it's very competitive but it's also incredibly supportive environment by the students and by the faculty. If I were a student here, I probably would feel extremely lucky and privileged to be uh, studying with faculty of uh, such caliber in any department here in, uh, at CCM. For when we exhale, we want to make an aperture, small aperture, as if you're playing clarinet high tongue position and a hissing sound, very high pitch kind of noise, like so. The first thing when you wake up in the morning, and especially as a clarinet player, take a deep breath and say thank you for the opportunity to play the instrument, to make music, to be able to contribute to the world, to be able to um, change the world to make the world a better place. And then breathe your air into the instrument and try to make every note sound the best as you can. Try to make the most beautiful sound, one note at a time, and then two notes, three notes, a scale, a musical piece. And be grateful for the opportunity to do that. Very nice. Fantastic, bravo, <laughs> excellent. Thank you so much for doing this, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Probably the reason that I ended up here is my uh, inner calling to help these uh, young musicians to achieve their goals. If the student has a, a voice, um, the energy, the calling to make the world a better place, there is no better way to do it but through music. So we welcome this young talents to CCM to come and study here and work on those skills together and see if we can make a difference. <laughs>